Hello, honey. And tonight we're going to talk about this nice young man. He says that he feels unworthy of a woman's love, okay? So from what I'm seeing here, what he's telling me is that a woman recently came in his life and he's not necessarily afraid, but he's, he's frightened with the way she knows him on a deep level. Um, you know, she said, you know, he, he says that it scares him with how deep she knows him and how she sees through him. And so, you know, since he's kind of been going through the stage of like, kind of putting like some pieces together and saying, oh my goodness. So, you know, and you know, the Lord told him, this is his twin flame. And you know, since he found out, he's been feeling different energies. He's like, you know, is it really? Is it really? But then now he's a little bit down in the dumps because he says, well, he feels that, you know, he's not good enough for her. Okay. So what is it that you don't feel good enough? Oh, you think that he, oh, so she, you feel that she could find somebody that's a little bit younger. Okay, honey. Oh, okay, so there's a little bit of an age gap. Okay, well, baby, that's not bad of an age gap from what I'm hearing, okay, from what, what Jesus told me. That's really not that bad, okay? If it's like, you know, way up there to where it's like, you know, 20 years, it's a little bit different, but hey, we all choose our different journeys, right, honey? We all have different journeys, different uh, soul contracts, okay? But no, baby, you know, also you wanna know if this woman minds it? No, she doesn't, honey. You know, so, honey, the woman that you're with, she's beyond her ego, okay? Okay, so she doesn't point out hints, okay? So that's why you're unsure and you're unworthy. So, yeah, that's another thing I'm picking up, um, kids, is that he feels that, um, <laughs> she, oh, sorry, honey, I, I was reading, <laughs> I was reading a text from a brother, <laughs> he's, he's such a cute, a cute young man. Sorry, honey, I got sidetracked for a little bit. That's one of my, um, one of my brothers. He's a, he means so much to me. He, we were just giggling over something. Sorry, honey, that I interrupted. But, um, anyways, honey, you know, going back, I got a little sidetracked. So, yes, honey, he feels really unworthy, okay? He feels like, okay, so the age difference. No, honey, if you want to know about this woman, she does not care about the age, okay? She does not care, okay? Okay, so, oh yeah, that's what we was talking about, honey, is we were talking about, is you were wondering if the woman was interested in you because she doesn't show it. Oh, honey, she really likes you a lot. She does, but she doesn't, she's that type of woman where she's a respectful, so you know how there's men that have to be respectful to you know woman when they first meet each other that's what she's trying to do honey is she doesn't want to push things on you okay because you know when you push things on a person then they're not gonna they're gonna be a little bit confused and not understand things you know so you're gonna be like what so this is so you're gonna know that those are odd intentions okay so she doesn't want to come to you with odd intentions and say oh well you know you know, she wants to basically work, honey, to, to trust you, for you to trust her and realize that, you know, she can be your friend, okay? And that it's more than just, um, you know, more than just the key, the lovey-dovey stuff. Because she likes you, honey. She likes you a whole lot. She loves you, actually, because she knew you in a past life. But yes, honey, let's go ahead and make a part two of this, okay?